you very much. Today there's going to be a big discussion concerning your safety if you ever have to go to the dentist office and get anesthesia during a procedure. It's a big deal. The anesthesia committee with the Texas State Board of Dental Examiners is meeting this afternoon to discuss possible changes when it comes to your dentist. Kate Whitehall is in downtown Austin outside of the board's offices with details. Good morning. Well, the anesthesia committee only meets on an as needed basis, but earlier this year, KXAN reported that the Sunset Commission found there were 112 statewide complaints between 2012 and 2015 concerning anesthesia administered in a dental office. So now the permitting process is under review. What the committee plans to do is review how permits are issued, the education a dentist must receive, and their training. Now this is for both adult and pediatric dentists. Right now dentists are not required to have a written emergency plan if something goes wrong during a procedure when someone is under sedation. And the Texas State Board of Dental Examiners has no funding for inspectors to perform random checks on dental offices to make sure they are complying with the rules. An inspector only goes out after a complaint has been filed. Now the goal of today's meeting is to come up with a plan. The anesthesia committee can then pass along to the board who can then pass along the lawmakers during the next session. I think the whole idea is just to make it a more full circle process, evaluate the process better, and make sure that we're doing our best to protect the public when we are issuing those permits and putting those individuals under sedation. And during the next legislative session, lawmakers are supposed to consider funding for full-time inspectors. Now, in the meantime, if you want to check to see if your dentist has had any disciplinary action taken against them, or maybe to see if they're certified to be able to administer anesthesia, we have a link with this story on our website at KXAN.com. In downtown Austin this morning, Kate Wada, KXAN News. Well, one case here in Central Texas that did get a whole lot of attention at the dentist office, and there is an anesthesia component to that, is the death of little Daisy Lynn Torres. The 14-month-old died back in March after going to the dentist to work on cavities. Well, the medical examiner said anesthesia was to blame for her death. The autopsy report said that Daisy likely had a severe reaction to that. We want to point out, though, we did ask, and today's dental examiner hearing, they say, is not a result of Daisy Lynn's death.